Hey guys, Ralph Quintero here. Hope you're doing great. In this video, I'm going to teach you how easy it is to set up your very own blog using WordPress. So the first thing you want to do is head over to supereasyblog.com. Now, supereasyblog.com is a page I put together to teach people how easy it is to set up their very own blogs. So the first thing you want to do is scroll down uh, just underneath this really important red box and go ahead and click on this first square which says WordPress hosting unlimited blogs. That's going to take you over to HostGator.com. Uh, now HostGator.com is one of the web's premier hosting services that I find many bloggers use because of the great customer service and the great pricing that they offer. So. I use HostGator on most of my own blogs, and that's why I'm recommending that uh, you go ahead and use HostGator, especially since they make it so easy to start blogging right away. So what you want to do is go ahead and click here where it says View Web Hosting Plans. And what I suggest is that you go with the middle plan, which is called the Baby Plan, because it gives you the best opportunity for future expansion of your blog. If you decide that uh, you want to go ahead and expand to a, have another blog, maybe you start off by blogging about cooking and then you want to start blogging about travel, the baby plan will allow you to do that because it lets you host unlimited domains under that one hosting package. So you want to go ahead and click order now. And the first step with HostGator and for your blog is to choose a domain. Now a domain name is the name that you're going to give your blog. It's, it's everything that precedes either .com, .net, or .org. Now org is usually reserved for organizations. If you have an organization, go ahead by all means and use that. But I try and recommend that if you can find something that has a .com uh, um, exchange to it, it's probably the best way to use it because that is what most people default to people think in terms of .com. So I'm going to go ahead and register a new domain. Now I'm going to go with, uh, let's try greatideas.com. And you want to go ahead and continue to step two. Now, as I figured, you'll see that there was an error that popped up here and it says that greatideas.com is not available to be registered. That's a fairly common name and uh, I'm sure it's been uh, registered now for quite some time with millions and millions and millions of sites uh, on the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and enter another domain name, uh, something similar. How about this? Greatideasblog.com. Um, and the other thing I'm going to go ahead and offer you before we hit continue to step two is a coupon code. Now if you go ahead and enter super easy blog on this or inside this box, I've made arrangements with HostGator to offer you a 25% discount if you use that coupon code at this screen. So now that you have that coupon code in, you want to come in here and go continue to step two. And here you go into the billing information page, and this is where you set up your account information. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set this up. And as soon as I finish filling out all of this information, including my billing information, we're going to scroll down here and we're going to click the create account button. So the first thing is going to put in a username and uh, they require you to put in a security pin. Then we're going to go ahead and fill out all of the billing information including your email address. Now this is important because your email address is what the one that you're going to use to register and log into your site. And we need to put in your billing information. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to go ahead and pay via credit card. Let's put that information in here. And your expiration date, your code, and the one last thing that I recommend is in your billing cycle right up here. Um, 
If you can, I would go ahead and change that to a 12 month plan. Now the reason I, I recommend that you change that to the 12 month plan instead of the monthly billing, now this is completely up to you, um, is that uh, your hosting is what actually pays for your site to maintain on the internet. And the last thing you want is after you're putting so much work on your blog is that either you change your credit card or you forget uh, to update your billing cycle and your site will be taken down. So I always like to pay 12 months at a time. I, it's still a great deal. As you scroll down here, you can review your order um, and it tells you everything you get. Uh, in this case, my total due is $104.55, which I think is a great deal and you want to go ahead now and hit create account. After your account is created, they're going to send you over to this uh, success page and it basically gives you your reference number for your account. And it tells you right here that an email will be sent shortly to the email address that you have on file that you just created uh, with all of the information of the hosting account. So I'm gonna go switch over to my mail program right now and let's go find that email and take the next steps. So here we are in our email account. Now, uh, I'll let you know that sometimes it does take a couple of minutes to receive this email. So if you don't get it right away, just stand by uh, because you'll definitely get it within a couple of minutes. So you wanna go ahead and open the email you just received and right here, you will have all of the information that you need uh, to get your WordPress site started and everything going on. So there's a couple of things you have to check out. Number one is your username, which is the username you set up in the previous process. And this password, which I recommend you highlight and copy so you can paste it on the next screen. So the next thing you wanna do is go into your control panel and you do that by clicking on this link right here. And here's your HostGator control panel. Now, here's where you put in the username and you paste the password that you just copied. And just like that, you are now inside the HostGator page. Now, you'll see that there's a little pop-up ad, a little pop-up box that says, welcome new user. This is great information. HostGator is very good about video tutorials and step-by-step -step processes. Uh, in how you set up your page and how to get started. But since I'm teaching you that right now, I'm gonna go ahead and close this and I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do. So now that you're at this page, you want to scroll down to the bottom to the section that says software and services and you want to click where it says quick install. Now you'll notice on the upper left hand corner of this page, it says WordPress with the WordPress logo. You want to go ahead and click on that and Right here, you have a button that says continue. Now this is gonna install the latest version of WordPress. Now this is not installing it on your computer, this is installing it on the host site that you've just created. So you hit continue, and what should pop up is the domain name that you just registered. In my case, here it is, greatideasblog.com. Um, and the next thing you want to do is type in your admin email, which is usually the same email you use to register uh, with HostGator, although it doesn't have to be. You can make it whatever you want it to be. The blog title, and we'll call this The Great Ideas Blog, and your first and last name. Click install now and you're going to see the progress bar appear. It's a very fast installation. It takes literally seconds. And now you're ready to go. Now, down here you'll note a couple things. Number one, you have a message of congratulations because that signifies that you have a successful install. And you can access your blog by going here right now and clicking it. Now, before you do that, Scroll down just a little bit more and you'll see that you have your username, which is admin, and admin is the standard WordPress uh, username, which you can change later on. I'll show you how to do that. And you've got another system generated password, which is very complicated. So I recommend that you highlight that, copy it, and we're going to enter it on the next screen. And I'm gonna show you how you can change that. So at this point, go ahead now and click where it says here and it may take a little bit of time to get this blog going. So I'm glad we got this screen. One thing I forgot to mention is that sometimes it may take up to 24 hours for your new domain name to be registered. In that case, you will get a screen that looks similar to this. Don't worry, you haven't done anything wrong and we'll be up and running in no time. 
Over the course of the next couple of minutes or hours, keep refreshing this page and eventually you're going to see the admin login screen for your new blog. Once there, we can continue to set things up. So here it is, our new blog is ready and our domain name has been registered. So HostGator has gone ahead and moved it through and this is what it looks like for the entire world to see. Now, you're either gonna be seeing your actual blog page that looks like this, or you also may be seeing a screen that looks like this. Now, this is your admin login screen. This is where you want to be uh, so that we can get in and start making the changes and customize your blog. So if you are actually at this page, just come on down right here to where it says Meta, and there's a login button. So you wanna go ahead and click that and it'll bring you to this screen. Now on this screen, you're gonna go ahead and enter your username, which is if you recall is defaulted to admin. And then in the password section, you're going to go ahead and enter the password that was sent to you via email by HostGator, or the one that you copied from the HostGator success page or the confirmation page after uh, you completed your transaction. So we're gonna go ahead and enter that and you want to hit login. Now this is what your WordPress dashboard looks like. And this is where you're going to be making changes and customizing your blog. Um, you know, over time, you can take the time to learn more about this, and I'll be recording some more videos to show you all the different things. But one of the first things you want to do is come down here to where it says users, and you want to change your password to something that you're going to remember. So you want to click where it says admin, and this is going to open your admin section. And what you want to do is now you can go ahead and fill out some of this information. I'm not going to do that right now, but you can if you'd like. And I'm going to come right in here and enter a new password that will be easy to remember for my site. Now, there's a strength indicator, and you want to make it as strong as possible to prevent anybody from hacking into your blog. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click Update Profile. And you get a confirmation message right up here that says user updated, uh, which is exactly what you want to do. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is go over to posts. And in posts, one thing that you may have noticed when you first saw your blog page is that there was a post titled Hello World. Now this is a standard default post that WordPress puts in that I recommend that you delete so we'll come right in here and hit trash. And then you can replace it with a post of your own. So the way you do that is you come in here to where it says add new. You want to do add new. And you're ready to type in your first post. So our first post, uh, I want to type something about what great ideas we're gonna have for this post. So um, we'll say, the, let's call this the next best thing in great ideas. And we're gonna come down here and we are going to type, um, this blog is all about great ideas. We will share all kinds of interesting things with you over time as we build this blog. And so on and so forth. You can continue to add even more information. And the other thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and insert a picture. So the way you do that is you can come right here and you'll see that it says add image. So you click on that and I'm gonna select the file that I already have in my computer and I'm gonna come in here and go to my desktop and I have an images folder and there's a picture that I have, which is a time for action picture. And I'm gonna go ahead and upload that and there's the title for it and what you wanna do is I wanna include it as a thumbnail in my post or you can insert it as a medium picture. In this case, I'll do a thumbnail. So you pick that and you insert into post and there's your picture. Now, if you right click on it, you can set up right here by clicking here, you can set up how the text is going to line up along your post. So in my case, I want it to be just left justified uh, and I'm gonna hit update. 
and there it is. That's exactly what I want it to look like. And now that we're ready, you can either preview what the post is gonna look like, but since I've done this before, I know it's gonna look great, and we're gonna hit publish. So right up here, you'll see that the post has been published and you can view your post. So you can click on that and there it is. Here is our brand new blog post, the next best thing and great ideas. And there's what we wrote and there's our picture. You can click back on home and there is our blog with our first post. Now you can continue to post things. Uh, you can post every day, you can post a couple times a day. And in future videos, I'm gonna show you how you can further customize it. Like for example, changing these pictures, adding some more cool things on the side, some more categories and tags. But for right now, you've gotten started in blogging in just a few minutes. And I can't wait for you to see what the journey of blogging is like. If you have any questions, leave a comment on our site, send us an email, let us know what you think. Um, we hope you really enjoy this video and until next time.